this topic of Moments with Murph, we're going to talk about why is it so hard to make plans with friends? Because if you ever had friends like mine, you would know that it's traumatic. It is basically a disaster from beginning to end. We literally start with the funnel. It starts with about 10 people who's all, yeah, we're about to go, we're going to do stuff, or yeah, 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 let's go, yeah, woohoo! And then it ends up being three people. And it was just like, really? Like, 70 y'all? Just, okay. We've been talking for about four months now, but nobody was, oh, okay. All right, well, oh well. So, we have different types of people when it comes to planning and trying to, you know, get events going, going, let's just say a vacation. <clears throat> we have a bunch of different ones. So, let's start with the controller. So, the controller, you'll kind of get this a little um, mixed with the scheduler, but they're a little different. So, the controller basically is the one who wants everything done you know their way so they're basically trying to you know pick the spot pick the location they want basically final say so on where the initial or the ending spot is going to be so if everyone really wants to go to let's just say florida but they want to go to las vegas they're going to try to do everything they can to convince people to go to vegas to convince um that's where the move is like they're trying to make themselves like the head person in charge so you have the controller they're super annoying, I tell you. It's like, yo, no one made you captain. Sit in the back. We are all equals here. Like, unless you pay for everybody, you better shut your mouth. So, that's the controller. Now you get the scheduler. So, the scheduler, they are like second, you can say. Like, they try to have the next say-so, but really, they don't really care about, you know, where people are going. Like, in a sense. They care, but they don't care. The only thing that they care about is when you pick a location, that everything is scripted. So they want to know, you know, where, how long are we on? Okay, cool. Where are we going to live at? Okay, cool. What, do, what attractions do they have down there? Okay, great. What restaurants do they have down there? And especially my friends. They love to eat. Like, I like eating, but it's not a hobby of mine. I eat to replenish. Like, all my friends will eat as a competition. And I'm just like, you, you, you can keep that. You can keep that. But, <clears throat> you know, the schedule is like try to make sure everything is on track. And sometimes, like, I play this role because, like, again, you want to maximize your time down there. Like, you don't want to go to a completely different, you know, state or whatever, a completely different city, and you feel like you only get two things out of four or five days because the other parts of the day you've been literally, uh, what you guys want to do today? Uh, what are we doing today? Uh, is it a good morning? Um, should we wake up late or should we wake up early? Like, literally, like, the schedule is, like, who keeps things on the plan. It's like, hey, yo. Yo, y'all said we was trying to go to the gym at 10 o'clock. Let's go. You know, y'all said y'all want to go to the rec center at 12 o'clock. Let's go. Y'all said y'all want to eat at 3 o'clock. Let's go. Y'all said you want to go to the nightclub at 9 p.m. Let's go. This is what we're doing. Like, those people are essential because they keep things on track, on pace. And honestly, they get a round of applause because, again, I play this role sometimes. I like to keep make sure we maximize everything. All right. So then you also got the complainer. Oh my goodness! Like, they are uh, the worst ones, honestly. Because, like, whatever idea you have, whatever topics you guys have, they're the ones to <clears throat> basically go against that. Like, oh, I don't want to go here. No, I think that's going to cost too much. But what about my hair? It's like, those those are my females. The, that was the last one, that's definitely my females. But the complainants are the ones who always basically combat every idea. Like, they want to do something... But they don't want to do anything everyone else wants to do. So they are basically the ones who are going against every idea, every topic, until they finally submit something. So it can be 30 ideas, and they submit one. And they're only going to really going to go with their one. So, like, they're close to the controller as well, but not so much. The controller tries to take authority. The complainer just really is, like, devil's advocate. Like, they're basically just like, oh, you guys want to do that, but I don't, I don't really think I want to do that. Like... They're, they're so annoying. They make things so much longer than it has to be. It's just, it's just a drag. Like, literally just a drag. So, if you have a complainer in your group, either excommunicate them immediately. Get them out the room. Get them out the group chat. Get them out the conversation. Because you guys will go nowhere with them. Okay. We also have our whatever person. So, they don't care where you guys go. They don't care about what's going on. They just want to be involved. So you tell them, hey, we're going to go sit in the street. And that's it. And they're like, okay, great, great. You know, I'm bring some music. I'm, I'm turned. Like, 
they don't, they don't really care. You can be like, oh, yeah, we're going to go to this state at this time. You need this much for a ticket. They're like, oh, okay, that's cool. Like, they, their, their moods are literally like a hype and like no hype. We're just like, hey, you know, whatever you guys want to do, we can do it. I don't really care. I don't have an opinion. I don't know what I want to do. I want to be with you guys. So I'm following your lead. And like, though, them guys, they're fun, but you, you can't really get anything out of it. Because let's just say where you get a split, right? Where three people want to go to Florida, three people want to go to California, and then you get them. And like, you know, they're the deciding vote. It's like, where do you want to go? And they're just like, it doesn't matter. What do you guys want to do? And it's just like, yo, what, what, what do you mean? What do we want to do? Like, we, you see, we're obviously in the split. We're trying to get the majority rules. So what do you want to do? Like, oh, this doesn't really matter to me. Whatever makes you guys happy, we can do it. It's just like, yo, what the, yo, what? Give an expression, give an answer. Like, are, you, are who are you with? It's just like, oh, whatever. You know, I just want to be with you guys. You, you know, you sometimes you want to kick them out too because they don't help in the situation. You can't get a decision made. So, after them, we have the ghost people. And, like, these are people that's in the chat or in a group, and they have no say. They don't really... It's hard to get a read on if they want to do something and if they're going to do something because they never say anything. Like, they don't speak. They don't give an idea. They don't give a plan. They don't give a topic. They're just there. Like, it's hard to really, you know, include them in things, but they include themselves. Like, have you ever had somebody else in the group, in, in the chat or whatever, and y'all made plans, but they never said anything and then when everyone gets, like, to a certain location, they pop up, and it's just like, hey, what are you doing here? And it's like, you guys said we we're going to meet at this place at 6 o'clock. And it was just like, oh, oh, well, okay. Like, we're not upset that you're here. We just, we didn't know that you were even alive still. Like, you just kind of like, oh, okay. Like, they're just, they're just there. They're kind of like them followers on Instagram who either don't see nothing or choose not to see nothing and choose not to like anything or literally just follow you and don't even know it. So you get the ghost people. And then you got the last people who are the worst ones of all. And I, oh my gosh, they kill me. Like, <sighs> the liars in the last minuteers. <clears throat> and these are the ones who are super, yeah, we're going to do this. Oh, yeah, I want to do that. And yeah, we're going to get into this. And then once you get up to the, the week of or the day of, if it's a small event, <clears throat> and they ghost you. You know, you don't hear nothing from them. You text them, you call them, you can't get in touch with them. But... Let's just say the event started at 7, and they know it's going to run about, let's just say, 2 to 3 hours. So they'll call at about 9 or 10 o'clock, or they'll wait till about 8, 8.15, where it's too late to, you know, get involved. Because, like, like, oh, yeah, I was stuck in, oh, yeah, no, I fell asleep, oh, no, my mom said, and it's just like, dude. Like, you knew you wasn't coming from the beginning. So it's like, why would you make all these plans? Why would you, you know, try to really involve yourself if this isn't what you're really going to get into? Those are the ones that are so annoying. Because it's like, if you if you honestly know that you don't want to take a trip with us, or if you know, you know, you don't want to go, let's just say skating. Like, say that. Say that. We can try to find a more neutral event. Or we can just kick you out. It's so simple. Like, it's either one or two. Like, either involve yourself, we can find something, or don't involve yourself and keep it pushing. Like, don't waste our time. That's one thing I hate is, like, when you're really wasting time. Because it's just like, what are you there for? Especially when you're trying to get an account for something. Especially in, like, now. Because, like, a lot of things are you're going to need, like, reservations for, kind of, sort of. Or they want to know an estimate of your party. And if you're, oh, yeah, I'm going to be there. Yeah, I'm going to come there. And you don't come there and you don't say anything, literally, like, the day of or the day before, like, Come on now, that's that's very immature and irresponsible, and it's very petty. Cause like you knew you had the intentions of not coming, so it's like why would you even do something like that? So them are the ones I hate, to be honest. Now, you also have people like who change their mind, and they're they're kind of like the same people who are like last minuteers. Like they literally just change their mind at the the very end, and. You just know for future references, don't ask them anything. They're simple. Don't worry about them. Don't ask them nothing. They're forgiven. And they're forgotten about. And then, like, the the real the real big issues and when it's time to actually leave. Because then you got the people who are ready to go, you know. <clears throat> they said they're going to be ready at 7. They're ready at 7. You got the people who are early. You know, 7 was the, the time. And then you got 6.50. They're already good. They're ready to go. They're checking on everybody else, right? And then you got 7 o'clock at some other people who are just now getting out of bed. Mm. They decide to take a nap. Or they decide to, you know, do nothing until the time of. So everybody else is ready and dressed and 7 o'clock, they're hopping in the shower. 
It's just like, yo, are, are you serious? You do, do we not make a time? Like, do we not say what we're going to do at this date, at this time, and you just now are taking a shower? Like, come on now. And then they'd be the ones who take the longest showers. They'd be in the shower like 30 minutes. Like, we're, like, how long are you praying? Like, you perform an open-heart surgery? Like, what are you doing? Why are you taking so long? And then getting dressed, don't be no quicker. Like, literally. The, oh, my goodness. Like, the time consumers are the ones that's, like, of the most annoying. Because, like, they just take forever in a day. And that's one of the issues, like, when it comes to really trying to get and make a plan with, you know, certain individuals, certain friends. But that is another topic for another day. And actually, there's going to be a video for the YouTube. So you guys should follow me on YouTube at Sir Murph. And I will leave it at that.